Okay, so rather than having to unplug your device, go to the PC, reprogram, and re-off, you're able to quickly toggle mods and adjust some uh, parameters within the mods by using the gamepad configuration menu. Now, we know this process may seem a little bit complicated at first, but it's actually quite simple to, uh, to navigate through the uh, configuration menu. Now, for this video, I'll be using a PlayStation 4 controller on the Xbox One console, and I'll be playing the uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, so first I'm going to want to turn on the primary rapid fire mod. Now, down here in the bottom right, I went ahead and threw up the, uh, the little chart that you could find down in the bottom of the, uh, the instruction manual for the game pack. Now, if you notice, uh, class, the classes are basically the mod names, and then the, um, the, you, you have the mods within the class, so, you know, for, so say, for instance, if I want to turn on optimized rapid fire under my primary rapid fire, the primary rapid fire would be class 3, and then optimized rapid fire would be mod 1, and so, to get into the menu, we'll first, uh, we'll go ahead and hold either the back, share, or select button, depending on the controller you are using, and the options button. Now, you'll want to hold both of these down for two seconds, and then you can release the, uh, the options or the start button, and then you will notice the LED start to blink on your device and such. So, let's go ahead and get into the gamepad configuration menu. Go ahead and hold the share and options button on this controller. Okay, it starts to blink, so I can go ahead and release options, but continue to hold share. Now, if you notice, I'm getting one purple blink on the Cronus Max Plus. Now, this states that I am in class one. Now, I need to get over to class three. To do that, I can tap either the square or X button. If you're, you know, it, it'll be the X button if you're using an Xbox controller, the square button if you're using a PlayStation controller, obviously. That, um, again, that will add one to the class. If you want to subtract one from the class, you can tap either the cross button if you're using a PlayStation controller, or the A button if you're using an Xbox controller. So let's go ahead and tap square two times. And you can see that I'm getting three purple blinks on the Cronus Max Plus. This means that I am in class three, which is primary rapid fire. Now I need to turn on the optimized rapid fire. To do so, you'll press either the triangle or the Y button, again, depending on the controller you're using. And that will add one to the, uh, the mod that you are using within the class. So let's go ahead and turn on mod 1, which is our optimized rapid fire. Now if you wish to take away 1 from the class, you'll press either circle or B. Now, as you can see, I'm using rapid fire. I guess you can't really tell so much on a, uh, a fully auto, but now say with the uh, the full auto, you notice I have a little bit of recoil here, say I want to get rid of that, we'll go into, let's see, I believe it's class 6, and then since I play inverted, it'll be mod number 4. So let's go ahead and hold share and options for 2 seconds, go ahead and release options since they're blinking. And as you can see, I'm still in class 3. That configuration menu will generally stay in the, uh, the last class that you used whenever you exited the menu. This is great for whenever you're, uh, you're tuning your mods, such as rapid fire or your anti-recoil. Now I'll show you how to tune the uh, adjustable parameter in the anti-recoil shortly. We first need to get over to it. So again, we'll press square. Let's go ahead and give this three taps to get into mod six. Or I'm sorry, class six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six purple blinks. 
And as you can see, we have no green blinks. That means that the mods within the class are disabled. Now I need mod 4, since I play with an inverted uh, y-axis. So go ahead, give that 4 taps. Actually, I believe I tapped that 5, 2, 3. Yeah, as you can see, I have 5 green blinks. So let's tap circle to bring that down to 4. One, two, three, four green blinks. Okay, and now I'm good for my inverted recoil. Let's go ahead and release that. And as you can see, that helped some. But I, uh, I think it needs a little bit more recoil. So you're able to change the adjustable parameter using either L1 or the left bumper you know, depending on the controller you're using, and the R1 or the R, uh, right bumper. Now, the left bumper, bumper will add to the recoil, which will move your gun down, and the, uh, the right bumper or R1 will subtract from the recoil or move your gun up. So, let's, for a third time, oh. Let's get into the game pack configuration menu. And then I'm still in the anti-recoil class. As I said before, it, it saves the, uh, the last class that you were in when you exit the menu. And I'm going to add, uh, let's just add three to it. Well, let's add five, rather. Now, as you can see, whenever I fire, I'm staying much, much closer to the, uh, to the center point of, of where I was aiming. Now I'm actually quite happy with that spread. So, uh, but now let's say I, I'm not happy with it and I add too much. We can go back into the game pack configuration menu. I'm just gonna overkill add a whole bunch. Well, I guess subtract a whole bunch from the anti-recoil, which will move the gun up. Just so uh, you can see that. There we go. See, as you can, as you can tell, it's kind of all over the place now, rather than just grouped in two or three bullets. So we really hope this video uh, helps clear things up for y'all, as we know that trying to read over this process through text could be a bit overwhelming. Um, in that. You know, being able to physically see somebody walk through the process could be a little bit easier to, to understand. Um, you know, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, like this video if you liked it. And as always, be sure to leave a subscribe.